Hello, my name is Regina and I will now demonstrate to you how a Rosemount 2535 vibrating rod works. The working principle of the vibrating rod is that when it's connected to a power supply, the rod starts vibrating at its natural frequency by an internal piezoelectric crystal. When the rod is submerged in a solids media, the vibrations will stop and uh, there will be a change in frequency which is detected by the electronics. The output will then be changed to covered. When the rod is um, again vibrating, when it is not covered by a solid media, the signal output will change to uncovered. Let's see how it is when tested in real solids. Perhaps you hear the vibrations. I will now submerge the vibrating rod into a dry powder flower. Now the output change to covered, it no longer vibrates. Immediately when uh, raised out of the powder, it starts vibrating and the signal output is changed to uncovered. Let's try it in, a, uh, in sand, which is very dense. Works well here. And on my left hand side, we have uh, plastic pellets. It works here as well. So, this uh, device works well in simple solids applications, for example, in storage silos. One of the advantages is that all wetted parts are in food grade stainless steel. So they are well suited for hygienic applications. Another advantage is that you don't have a particle size limitation. The reason for this is that you do not have a fork, for example, where you could have a particle that sticks between two fork times, which would um, perhaps uh, cause uh, an unreliable measurement uh, in those applications. And then the vibrating rod is a very good alternative, which will measure reliable also on larger granules. For more information on this product, please visit emerson.com. Thank you so much.